everybody, this is Steve Thorne. I'm coming to you today live in Tampa, Florida in our little studio here. And I want to talk to you today about the subject of belief. Specifically how belief plays a part in our ability to sell ourselves, our products and services, and what really differentiates why people buy from you or not. And um, I want to give you a real world example. Over the last few weeks I've been shopping for a new vehicle. And uh, it's been kind of, uh, kind of fun, but also kind of a pain in the neck, a little bit laborious on the internet, of course, looking at prices, looking at products. And uh, I stumbled across a particular dealership, and I want to share a story with you about salesperson number one and salesperson number two. Uh, the first one, salesperson I want to talk to you about, approached me with a lot of emphasis on price. The second thing that came out in their presentation was their company was a great company and indeed I was looking at great product. The third thing that came out of this first salesperson's approach was their ability to sell themselves and why I should buy from them or not buy from them and their ability to communicate and maintain rapport and how he sold himself. Now, let's go to situation number two. And by the way, the reason that I didn't continue on uh, with presentation number one, the first salesperson, a couple of reasons. Number one, his the rapport was broken. There was an issue with regard to our meanings of time. And um, there was also a situation where the individual didn't follow up. This indicates a very clear message about their belief in themselves, the belief in the whole process. So I didn't get a follow-up call from person one. Second situation. Salesperson number two, we'll call him situation B. Situation B, the first, this salesperson indicated to me that the relationship and his belief in himself was the most important thing. The relationship between him as a professional and me as a consumer. His belief in self and me dealing with him was paramount, was clearly superior to these other things. He did continue on and his belief in his company still came out and the fact that I was looking at great product that came out as well but it was secondary to belief in self the third thing ironically that came out at the end of the negotiation the end of the presentation was price was fine price was great price was good but it was the third thing. It was inferior to belief in self and our relationship, and it was inferior to the belief in his company or his product. He could have been anywhere, but no matter where this individual goes, the second one, this individual is a top producer. A couple little things he did. Number two, he followed up with me the very next day. So after this individual didn't follow up, this individual did. This individual closed the sale, closed the presentation out with, by the way, you do recognize that you're getting a lot of car for the money. But it was after these things had been established and reinforced. But most importantly was belief in self. So here's the lesson today on Steve Thorne TV. I want you to take away, as you're selling yourself and your products and services, always focus first on selling yourself. Price comes later. Average producers will sell on price, and then they will sell themselves later, and they'll have it reversed. I found out from management that this person, even though sales for the letter B is over here, this salesperson was top tier. This is an individual that sold in excess of 20 Highline vehicles per month. That's a lot of Highline vehicles. This individual over here that didn't follow up, that sold self last, he sold less than 10 per month. Two different locations, same dealership, similar product, similar prices. Matter of fact, this price on this person, his particular product was even a little less. I ended up spending a little bit more because this person sold himself first. So remember, sell yourself first. Steve Thorne signing off here today in Tampa, Florida. About to get on a plane to go do some meetings in Tennessee. Look forward to seeing you in our next video. Make it a great day. And until then, we'll see you down the road. Bye.